In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made made heaven and earth. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, O Lord, and And you you give give them their food in due season. You open your hand and and satisfy the desire of every every living thing. thing. The Holy Spirit has brought us here to seek the intercession of our Mother Mary in these times of trial. Let us begin by recalling the Gospel's witness to the role of the Mother of God in His plan to deliver us and to the place of her prayer in our lives. In accepting God's message through the archangel Gabriel at Nazareth, Mary, the virgin daughter of Zion, became for all time the instrument through which the Father gives us his own divine Son, with all the riches of his graces and favors. In directing the wedding party at the marriage feast in Cana to do whatever Jesus told them, Our Lady instructs us to look to the Lord with unconditional trust sure in the hope that he will deliver us from all our distress. In entrusting his mother to the beloved disciple from his cross on Calvary, the Lord Jesus has given us for all ages thereafter his mother to be our mother too. All of us disciples recognize her henceforth as our mother, and she recognizes us as her beloved sons and daughters. In her novena of prayers with the apostles and the other disciples in the upper room between the Ascension and Pentecost, the ever-Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Mother of God and our Blessed Mother, solemnly began that ardent, unwavering, and perpetual prayer which she has never ceased to offer to obtain God's help for us. So, with our hearts and minds formed by God's inspired word, Let us, with full confidence, seek the help and support of the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Help. Most holy and immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our hope. We come to you today. We thank God for the graces received through your intercession. Mother of perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. O Mary, Mother of perpetual help, confident of the power of your prayers before the throne of mercy, Obtain for us all the graces we need in order to live as your Son's faithful disciples. Ask the Holy Spirit to give us strength to overcome temptation, renewed faith in Jesus Christ, sure hope in Jesus Christ, and perfect love for Jesus Christ. And, at last, obtain for us the grace of final perseverance and the happy death, so that we, like you, will live with your Son his Father, and their Holy Spirit, in perfect bliss for all eternity. As the people of God, members of his Church, we join our prayers and petitions and entrust them to the care of our Mother Mary, whom all generations continue to call blessed, and for whom God has ever done great things. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name. Your very name inspires confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in times of temptation and at the hour of our death. 
Blessed Lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. O Mother of Perpetual Help, with the greatest confidence we come today before this most venerable and well-beloved picture of you, consoling and protecting your Son, Jesus our Lord. We, too, come to you for consolation and protection in our many needs and trials. We are sure that you will hear our pleading as we recommend to you in the silence of our hearts all our wants, both spiritual and temporal. Let us now join together to pray for the help of the Mother of God in this time of great temporal want. O Mother of Perpetual Help, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you to present ourselves before you in our many afflictions. We implore your help for us and for our neighbors in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrows often depress us. Misfortunes and privations bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross. Comforter of the afflicted, beg your Son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings. Or if it be the will of God that we should suffer still longer, help us endure all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son and through him, with him, and in him commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us unite with the Christians of all ages in praising the Mother of God and in committing ourselves to her powerful protection. And in a particular way today, let us offer our prayers for the protection of the dignity and sanctity of human life from the moment of conception until natural death. Hail Hail Mary, Mary, full full of grace, grace, the Lord Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. You have been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have given us your mother Mary, whose renowned image we venerate, to be a mother ever ready to help us, grant, we beseech you, that we who constantly implore her help may merit always to experience the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign forever. Amen. Remember, Remember, O most most gracious gracious Virgin Virgin Mary, that that never was it known that that anyone who fled to your protection, protection, implored your help, or or sought sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. May the peace of Jesus Christ, the Son of God and the Son of the Blessed Virgin Mary, descend upon you and dwell in your homes and in the homes of all the Lord's disciples. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 